Good evening, people. How are we all doing? Long time no see. I'm sorry I've not posted a video for a few days. I have been very, very busy. Um, so today, oh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Lee and I love Casio watches, mainly from the 80s, some in the 90s, and obviously some today's versions as well. But my collection consists of mainly watches that you don't really see anymore, mainly from the 80s, really. Um, I have around 300 Casio watches. Mostly are in very excellent condition, good to excellent condition. And on this channel, I showcase them and I talk about them. I show them the features, maybe a little bit of history. And that is what I do. And I, sometimes I do some repair videos too. So today I'm going to talk about the Casio C86, which is here. And this ain't your ordinary C86. They came in a few vari variants on this model. This model has the game function. So you've got a game function as well as a calculator function and some other bits. Before I show you this model, I want to I want to go back a little bit, just a few years, and show you Casio's first calculator watch, which was this one here. It was the C80 model. Now, in comparison, they look almost the same, but they're not, and I shall show you why. Let's take this off here. Get my little brush on there. So this here is Casio's first model, and they bought out, so this came out in 1980, the C80, and it was, calculate, it was Casio's first calculator watch. And this came out, so they made two variants on this, one with the silver buttons and one with the rubber buttons. It looked exactly the same, just the difference was the buttons, color, and what they're made out of. Oh, the colors are the same. It's like a grayish, but they, um, one was rubber and one was metal. Now this ain't your very, this ain't your normal Casio watch. I shall show you the reason why. Let me zoom in. Firstly, it comes in this absolutely stunning box. Look at this box. Jesus Christ. All this beautiful velvet at the back here with the Casio gold embossed. Beautiful velvet here. Casio logo. Here goes the price tag. Now, the difference with this one here is, so this is 1980. So that's 44 years old. Has the tag as well. I mean, Jesus. Absolutely amazing has the tag on here as well finger touch now what makes this amazing is this is exactly how it was when it rolled off the production line there's not a single mark blemish or anything on it it's absolutely pristine perfect condition now the straps are original believe it or not and these are exactly how it was 44 years ago and it's really stayed on here so if you took this thing off here look let me take it off it's basically molded around oh my god look at this be dropping it absolutely stupid if you look around here there's not a single mark on it now if you look here for example i'll show you something special so you see here, that is where normally you will take the battery out. And I'm going to have a look, show you a little example here that how pristine this watch is. So when you take the battery, this obviously has had a few battery changes over its time. Now, this is the battery case. So this is, uh, what's this? Oh, C80 as well, but a damaged one. Um, so when you, you take these covers off, let me show you with this here. So when you pop it off here, it comes off like that. It doesn't take hardly any effort to make this have a burr on it like this. Oh, look at that. Oh, so that's the case. Because they made the casing very sharp at the ends, which is if you put this on here and add a bit of pressure and keep lifting it up, it's not, it doesn't take much effort to start burring the edges off like this. And if I show you the casing here, let's zoom in. 
you're going to have all these little score marks everywhere. But this particular watch hasn't got any of that. It's just absolutely a stunning piece and in amazing condition. Let's just um, have a little look. And this is exactly how it rolled off when you when you when you bought one of these new and this is what i love about the casios when you find them in this condition this is actually a bit of history this is exactly what it would have looked like and what it would have come out like if you purchased it when it was brand new from the shop let's stick it back in here um, I have done a few battery changes on this and I've been very like so careful taking the back off um, yeah, stunning, isn't it? And this is the sort of box it came in as well. Oh, it's just beautiful. Let's put that over there. Um, right, now I'm going to show you this model. They also, some came out in this model as well. Um, in this box, sorry. Sorry, I keep mudding my bloody words up here. I sound like President Biden. Uh, let's put this on here. And have a sip of coffee. Even though this is a lovely piece, it's no way as good condition as that, but not remotely. But the difference is with this one is, this has got silver buttons on the side, which are chrome. And these are black buttons. Now this is a far more superior watch than that one, even though it's exactly the same, it's a different module. That's a 133 module. This is a 134 module. And this has the game feature, it has an alarm. Do you know, believe it or not, when the Casio first bought this one out, it didn't have a beep or an alarm function either. Crazy, isn't it? And this one has got a beep and a function, they even display it here. There's a few little marks here, which are really annoying me they do. I don't know what, how someone would have done that, getting something in there and prizing it. Bloody wallies, aren't they? Um, so if it came in this box here, this is how it would have been presented. So it's like this, you would have opened a beautiful box and inside here is your manual. You take the little cover out and here is your manual. That's where it's been stored. How lovely they made the boxes back then. If only, if only Casio made, just took a little bit more effort now, as opposed to back then, because they made, look at these beautiful cases. These are very rare, so you don't see these cases very often. And all the manual, don't, don't forget, this is 1980, this is 1981, 82. I think it has got the year in here. Let me have a little look. 82, there we are. 18th of May, 82. Um, right, let's have a little flick through. I'll keep wabbling on here. Um, right, so this, I mean, it's still in good condition, but I just, these little bits here nick with me. So this one here, um, you've got quite a lot of function on this. So this is the stopwatch mode. And it would work like this, and nearly every watch Cassian watch has a stopwatch mode. It's the alarm mode. I think if we hold this button in, that's what it would sound like. Now the the C80 over there, that doesn't have any alarm, any beeps. Crazy, isn't it? But although it was, don't forget Casio was just into its first watches. They used to do calculator watches. Uh, used to do calculators, then went into watches. So having a watch I mean, a digital watch came out in 1976, Casios. So four years later, they came out with this extraordinary, never seen before, an actual calculator on a screen with a stopwatch, alarm mode. It was like an infancy back then. Um, yeah, the stopwatch, um, you've got dual time as well. And this is the game mode. So if you want to play the game mode, so I'm gonna hit this button here, the second button. Oh. That's the game mode. Um, I think this star here. What is it here? Was it here? One of the two. And as you do it, you've got to press the button, so it'd be nine. 
Uh, could, my mind does not work quick enough for this. So let's, let's four, um, nine, four. And as you do the numbers as it comes through, you get a score above here. I would, I would probably just do it now for you. So let's do uh, one, eight. And you just get a score above it, and that's it, really. That's the that's the game. Just um, what do you call it? Um, a bit of a novelty feature, but it was fun. I mean, if you're in school and you're playing, and um, don't forget, nothing like this existed. This is 1981. Nothing existed. Not even handheld games came out then. It was five years later. So this was just revolutionary. I mean, looking at it now, you may think it's boring, but you know, back then. That's all they had. Um, so that's a date um, feature as the month. Um, let's probably go here. Stopwatch, alarm mode, date time. And you've got good light on this as well. Let me just go back to the beginning. There we are. A light as well. Uh, that's the setting mode. Here is your date. Oh, no. It's the, uh, the date here. Oh, date is here. Uh, yeah and that's it that's really all there is i mean it's a great watch i'll put it on for you and i'll show you the size so you get a comparison let me i'll do the buckle up as well and then you can engage on the size Oh my God. There we are. Beautiful watch, isn't it? And the way these buttons just highlight, I just think it's beautiful. Now don't forget, Cassie, I'll still make the calculator watch today and it's almost the same as it was 30 plus years ago. There is no difference in it at all. In fact, let me show you the difference. I have got one here. Let me show you. Let me show you. So we've got one here, another one here, and another one here. Let me show you. So <coughs> this here, this is, um, yeah, so this is the one, this is today's version. You can go and buy this exact model. And I'll show you the one from this is um, what it used to look like from the 80s actually even though it came out in the 80s this is probably the, exactly the same so that you couldn't really tell them apart the only difference being is this is the original I uh, like the 80s version the buttons are slightly smaller. Now, if you just look at these buttons here, they're more grippier, fatter. I mean, by a little margin, these buttons are slightly smaller. And that is all there is. There is no difference at all. All the functions are the same. Even though it's a different module, um, this is a 3208 module made in China. This is the standard 437 module. And they made a few other variants. Let me show you. This one here. This is 1985. And is it 437? Yeah, that's a 437 as well module. So this will operate the same. And they made another one as well. Let me show you. They made a few variants. Let me show you one here. Let me show you. And this is the other one they made. The difference being is exactly the same module. The only difference is, I'm gonna just get it out of its packaging, even though it's beautiful packaging. Is, look at this, these beautiful straps. 
when they put the graphics on the straps, it really does make it look that much extra beautiful, doesn't it? Now this is a new old stock, so this is brand new in its packaging. Never before worn, I haven't even worn it either. And this is how it came. Now even though this model came out um, 80 something, they carried on this model all the way up to, I think 1996 and they changed it around and put some different stuff on it and they didn't have the strap anymore like this. But getting these straps now is like non-existent. It's really hard to get. Let me just have a sip of my coffee, hold on. So these are the calculator watches. I'll show you my favorite calculator watch for, of all time. Let me bring it out to you. I should have prepared, but I just think of this stuff as I go along. So this is my favorite calculator watch. This is, I don't even know what it's called, the CS52, 82, my God. Do you know the problem is I've got so many watches and I just, I lose track on the names and numbers of them. This is my favorite. This is just bloody beautiful. And look how thin it is. I just love this design. The simplicity of this, the way this goes around, you see the curves and the little lines, they just go all the way around the watch. It's thin as well. And what I also like as well, what they've done here, is they put this silver, this probably looks white on the camera, rim all the way around here. I just love that. I think it just makes the watch look so bloody beautiful. I love the way they put the blue plus and minuses here. And I love the yellow detailing on the other words as it goes there. Now, if you go to the modern day one, which I could just pick anywhere because they're both the same, aren't they? Now, look at the difference. This is a lot more plainer, isn't it? As opposed to this. Now, I think this is the, exactly the same module, if I remember rightly. Let's have a little look. No, it's not, beg your pardon. This is a 231 module. Let me show you. This is a CS82. Um, 231 module, and even this, look at this, how beautiful this is along here. Like, it's just, I oh, just absolutely love it. Just love the detailing Casio. Just go, it's just like a work of art. Absolutely stunning. Do you know a lot of people say to me, what's the point of having all these watches if you can't wear them? But I'll tell you what I do on a daily basis, and I mean daily. I just stand there and just watch my watches for an hour sometimes. Just look at them, get them out of the box, feel them, touch them, cup of coffee gives me great joy you don't really have to wear them i love this strap just little lines just don't know what it is just love it i dare not to press any of these buttons because we're at an era now i think it's 1982 the the material they used back then it is perishing now so i dare to press any of these buttons and who wants to press a button i don't even set the the clock to the correct time. I just don't care. I don't wear I don't wear these to tell the time. I just wear them because they look bloody beautiful. I just think this is the best. This one and um, the CA fifty, I think it's called, the one in Back to the Future model, which is very similar to this. The only difference is this is black around here. Yeah, dearie me. Look at these stunning watches here. Look at this. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Even though I like um, the graphics on the on the straps, I wonder. I was going to say, I wonder. I just, I prefer the way this looks perfect, but I wonder what it would have looked like if it was 
because it does really serve it, doesn't it? It's got the right colours. Maybe it would have been too much. But having a, um, so finding one of these now in this condition is very, very hard. Very hard indeed. You may, if you search on eBay every single day, what watch is that? Is it this one? No, this one? Oh, this one, this is going off. Um, yeah, finding one with straps like this is very, very hard. And it's beautiful. Yeah, I could talk about Casio watches probably an entire day. Beautiful pieces. Yeah, that's it. Um, I would leave it there. I mean, look at this stunning watch. My God. Absolutely amazing. Do you know, when I, even though I do wear this now and again, I'd be very careful though not to knock it anywhere. Um, sometimes I just want to buy another one because it looks so beautiful. I just want to buy another one because I just want to keep it away and just, I don't know, very hard. Anyway, that's me. Um, I've got some amazing watches coming in, by the way. I managed to buy a great job lot of um, game watches. Um, they've got no batteries in there, but I managed to buy them for a very decent price. The only the issue is they are not in great shape, except for one of them, I think. But they are super rare. They're not your normal game watches. They're the GM10, GM20, GM30, that type. Um, they should be here on Saturday. And I have, I did, did have, I did have to spend out a lot of money on them. But, you know me, addicted to Casios. I see a bargain or a deal, I have to go for it. Anyway, that's me wrapping up for 22 minutes, 10 seconds. Don't forget to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I don't know how well I'm doing and I don't think anyone's interested. So subscribe and we'll floss that together.